Trust me, baby. I know we'll be able to sort things out. I don't understand what you mean, Jude. I'm really afraid. You should take this one step at a time, my love. Let's get married. Is that a proposal? Yes, it's a proposal. You know I love you so much and I can't help it not spending the rest of my life with you. Oh, of course I'll marry you, Jude. You are the sweetest. I would never have thought about getting a ring today. Because I take you by surprise always. Yeah, you do. Was this what you planned with John? Which John? Someone that was really into this big popular thing. I know I'm not into big stuffs. Does that mean our wedding won't be a big one? You know how I planned my dream wedding. Anything for you. I'm ready to get everything you need for the wedding of your dreams, my princess. <laughs> oh, please. You know I don't like to bother you. So we'll just go with whatever you pick. Bother me? You're not bothering me at all. I'll do anything you want. You know money isn't the problem. Yeah, we have bigger problems. Our families. You worry too much. There has to be a way out, right? I'll do anything in my power to convince my father. I'll try to convince my dad. I just hope he agrees. I told you let's take this one step at a time. Yeah, I understand. I do. So, let's celebrate for now and forget family issues. Look at this girl. Since yesterday is now you are coming. I'm so sorry, Vivi. I was ready to come, but then Jude called me and asked that we meet. Oh, is everything okay with him? Totally. He proposed. Girl, stop playing. Look at that diamond. It's pretty, right? I'm so excited. It's so beautiful. Congratulations, my favorite person. Thank you so much. I honestly didn't expect that he would propose yesterday. Trust me. Of course. That's why it's called a surprise. Surprise indeed. Marrying Jude is such a dream come true. But Macy, you know what his dad does, don't you? I know. And in fact, that's my major fear. What do I tell my dad if he find out what his dad does? Exactly. And I know even his dad would never accept blessing your union. I can't see myself marry someone else with Joyce. Jude is everything I want. He's so sweet and understanding. Dating him for the past two years has been the best thing that happened to me. I can see how much you've changed over the years. Babe, I'm almost 30. And my dad would just agree to marry me off to any guy he doesn't feel good about. I know, dear. If not, you should have been married by now. I won't let him decide for me this time. I'll have to talk to my mother about this first. Yes, your mother should be able to talk to him. I just hope things work out for both of you. Amen, my dear. Amen. Mercy. Mercy. Mom, I'm here. Where have you been? Did you just call me? Yes, I went out to see Rejoice. Okay, go in and get ready for Bible study. Mom, I'm not attending today. I'm tired. What do you mean you're tired? Mom, I just got back from where I went to. I need to rest. You will tell that to your father. You know he'll be mad at you. Mom, I'm old enough to know what and what not to do. Come on, I'm tired, please. Who is talking about your age here? You're not too old to serve God. Mom, I serve God. In fact, I love him, but today I'm tired. I have other things to do rather than going to church four times weekly. But your dad is the pastor of our church branch. How do you want people to feel when you don't show good examples? Even if dad is a pastor, that's his choice, not mine, mom. Mercy, what's that in your finger? Is that a ring? Yes, mom, it's a ring. A ring? Who gave it to you? I am engaged, mom. My boyfriend popped the question two days ago. Your boyfriend? Missy, since when did you start having boyfriends without telling either me or your dad? I would definitely tell you both, but I just didn't want to bring in any man into this house, mom. You know I would tell you. You know you should have waited for us to meet this man before you accept to marry him. What if- What if he isn't a Christian or a pastor like dad? That's what happened the last time when I wanted to marry Ike Mefuna. And dad was against it because he works for a bear company. Why should I have to wait for you and dad's validation? I love this guy, mom. Honestly. I'm talking 30 next month. Do I have to continue like this? It's okay. Just make sure to bring him home soon enough. And don't let your age make you desperate. I'm off to church. I shouldn't let my age make me desperate. And you married dad when you were just 21. So you didn't take my advice as your friend. I'm sorry, Yoga. But you know that's not my style. Well, how did it go? It went well. Of course she said yes. You and I already know the answer even before you left here. Mercy loves you. I know she does love me, but I'm just scared. I don't have the full assurance yet. I know, right? Mercy is such a good girl, and I wouldn't want you to lose her, but if you ask me, I would say I don't see any hopes of future between you two. What's that supposed to be, eh? 
Look at you now. Your parents won't even accept if they know the background either of you are coming from. Does that mean we don't have a future together? Please don't say that again. No vex, but I am just being logical here and let's keep feelings aside. You know a pastor won't let a traditionalist son marry his only daughter and vice versa. It's my dad who is a traditionalist, not me. If he's a real pastor, I won't see my heart. I'm not my father now. But your father reached you and is going to be a father-in-law. Guy, you don't reach. Messi and I will sort this out. <laughs> okay, oh. why haven't she ever had the mind to take you to her family? You don't wonder why? Guy, rest. We'll sort ourselves out. Yes, sir. Anyway, I am happy for you too. Keep your happiness and wait till our family approves. Okay, oh. no vex for my outburst. I beg, other drink, I'm tasty. Waiter. Waiter. Good morning, Mom. Eh, uh, Mercy, come and sit. Mom, I was about going out. I have something to talk to you about. What is it, Mom? You look so serious. I want to know about this young man who gave you this ring. I told you he's my fiance now, Mom, not just any man. Fine. Who is he? What does he do? Mom, his name is Jude, and he's from this town. He's a construction engineer, and he's well-to-do. He's from this town? That's really interesting. What's his father's name? Mom, you will get to find out later. It's okay. You know you're now a grown woman, so I can't question you too much. I'm glad you know I'm no longer that little girl. But I want you to remove that ring from your finger until we meet that young man. I don't understand, Ma. Remove that ring from your finger. The women are coming here for fellowship today, and I don't want them to notice that ring on your finger. If not, they will start asking me questions about the young man. Mom! What do you mean by that? I should remove the ring because you are holding your women meeting here? What does my life have to do with your women meeting? You will do as I say without questioning me. Did you hear me? Fine, mom. I've heard you. Good. I don't want to see it by the time you're back. Yes, ma. Who is this young man? I'm sorry, Rejoice. I had to delay a bit. What's with you and late coming these days? I told you we had to be at the place before 10 and this is past 10. I'm sorry now. It's my mom. She had to talk to me before I left. Talk to you? Hope everything is okay. I don't know if everything is okay anymore. Trust me. What's happening? Did you tell her anything about Jude? Not really. I only told her that he was from this town and his name is Jude. That's all. Okay. That's all? Yeah, she's really curious to meet him. Then why is your face saying a different thing? My mom thinks I shouldn't be engaged to him. According to her, I was supposed to make sure that they approved of the relationship before I even accept to marry him. But you're not a kid. This is exactly what they did the other time and deep down, you know they won't accept Jude. My dear, they honestly have no choice this time around though. I won't take it easy and I'm not leaving Jude. I totally support you. How about now? You're four years older than me and I'm getting married already. I'm telling you, you won't believe my mom asking that I pull off my engagement ring because she wouldn't want to be questioned at that women's meeting. She said if I'm coming back into the house this evening, I shouldn't wear the ring. Wow, this is serious though. What's your business with a woman association? My dear, I just don't know what to say. To be honest, I'm sure I won't be able to go to the house until the meeting is over. Good decision, my dear. You shouldn't even be in that house anymore, babe. I dare not move out until I'm married, said my parents. Well, it's alright. Let's just go, even though we are late. It's not my fault. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let's go. My friend, we thank God for this prayer meeting. Yes, so I really want us to put Mama Bukola in our prayers. Exactly. You know I don't have much to support her husband. But we have to put her in prayer and make sure her husband gets well. Exactly. I will support her both financially and with prayer. I will do the best I can. By the way, where is Mercy? I didn't see her around all throughout the meeting. She went out. She has been in and out of this house of late. What's happening? Is she working two jobs now? Not at all. She still works her old job, but I don't know why she's been avoiding staying at home. And she doesn't come to church for weekly services before. I'm equally surprised, but you know me now. I'm still her mother, and I would make sure I talk to her. You need to. She needs to lead by example, trust me. Can you imagine she suddenly started wearing a ring? I don't know who gave it to her. She says she's engaged to a man. Engaged? To which man? Does he go to our church? Is he a Christian? My sister, I don't even know this man she's talking about. What? Did she agree to marry a man without your consent? 
Exactly my thoughts, but I know my daughter won't dare marry a man who doesn't suit her religious beliefs, but I still don't know why she hasn't brought this man home. She has to bring the man home. Very important. I've told her to stop wearing that engagement ring until she brings the man home. You did very well. We won't train our children to do things without our consent. Never. Welcome, babe. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. I didn't know you'd be coming over today. Well, I'm here already. I just couldn't go home after I and Rejoice went to check out all's for our wedding. Oh, okay. How is she? She's fine. I need to relax here a bit. Are you okay? You don't look fine at all. I'm just stressed from home, honestly. I don't know why my mom would just understand me. What happened? Did she scold you? She said I shouldn't have accepted to marry you until she and my dad had given their consent. They have to approve of whoever you want to marry. Exactly. And they are very picky. Just relax, babe. If they want to meet me, then I'll go see them. Will that make you feel okay? I just don't want them to ask silly questions. It's bound to happen, babe. I'll face them because I can't marry you without their approval. I know, right? I just don't want them to embarrass you. Don't worry, honey. You know that I don't mind. I'll answer whatever question they want. You know I love you. I love you too. What do you want to eat? Or should I serve you drink? Fruit juice is fine. Okay, I'm coming. I know you like pineapple juice. Good evening, Ma. And why are you just coming home since morning you left? Mom, I went to rejoice to check out halls for our wedding. And so, did you check the time? Past 8. Are you now keeping late nights under your parents' roof? But Mom, I don't always keep late nights. It's because of- Because of what, eh? Because of what exactly? But Mom, I'm old enough to come home anytime I want. My mates have kids. Not under my roof, young lady. Then let me get my own apartment. Stop treating me like a teenager. What's going on with you? Get your own apartment as a single woman so that men can be strolling in and out of your house. You didn't treat me like that. If I wanted to be following men, I should be married by now. You think marriage is what you rush into? But you got married at age 21, mom. Look at me. I'm turning 30. Marrying at 21 was God's plan for me. You're different, my dear. And your father was a born-again Christian. God's plan? When you know that I've been having suitors. Suitors that are ungodly. The other guy you brought to the house works at a beer company, meaning he drinks alcohol. That doesn't mean he's not godly, mom. Where he was doesn't define who he is. Would you rather marry a poor struggling man just because he's born again? There are rich guys in the church. Why don't you try to catch their attention? It's really hard talking to you, mom. I can't approach a man. I'm a woman. I can see you still have that ring on. Don't worry, your father will hear about it. Mom, please. Tell your father that. Honey, your food is served. You're still here. I'm watching this very important program. But the food will get cold. I will go eat soon. And by the way, where is Messi? I don't see her much. That's because you're barely home, running from one program to the other. I'm only doing the work of God. But the other day, I saw her leave before I left for church. She was wearing a ring. Since when did she started wearing jewelries? My dear, exactly what I saw as well. She's wearing jewelries in my house. Haven't I warned her against all that? Our daughter isn't just wearing any jewelry. She told me she's engaged to be married to a man we don't know about. What? What man? I don't know. I only found out recently too that she was engaged to a man named Jude who is from this town. What? Without my consent, she must be out of her mind to think I will tolerate that nonsense from her. I've told her to not wear that ring in this house until we meet this young man. Mercy, this girl, immediately she comes back, tell her to meet me in my studies. I will postpone all my meetings. I need to talk to her. I'll pass that across to her. Now come, let's eat. This girl won't kill me. Good evening, mom. Are you just leaving work or you went somewhere after work? I just closed from work, mom. Why would you ask that? Because I don't understand why you're coming late. Are you doing that on purpose? No, mom. I'm not coming late or doing anything on purpose. Mercy, you are back. Good evening, Dad. She's just coming back from work, and I'm wondering what's happening these days. Mom! What's Mom? 
Why are you just coming back from work? You close by 5 p.m. Why are you coming back by 8? I didn't close early today, Dad. And what's that ring on your finger? Dad, I got engaged to my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Do I know this young man? No, Dad, you don't. Honey, do you know this young man she's engaged to? My dear, I don't know him. I've never heard of him before now. So, Messi, on whose permission did you accept to marry this guy? And what even gave you the right to date without involving your parents? Dad, I thought dating should be a personal thing, but I'll bring him home now that we are engaged. That so-called engagement should be on hold until I meet this young man and pray about it. Yes, Dad, I'll bring him home. I'll be around this weekend. Bring him home on Friday in the afternoon. Yes, Dad, I'll bring him home. Good. I'll be inside. I need to shower and relax for a bit. All right. What did she say about the hall that she showed you? She was telling me that it's 500 capacities. I think I need more. What? How many people you want to invite, madam? My fiance has a lot of families and friends. You would be surprised. Wow. So how many people are you looking at? A thousand maybe. I just want enough provision for everyone present. That's thoughtful of you though. So you'll be going for the one I picked then? Of course. I know you have eyes for good things. You can say that again. What about your family stores? Have you tried talking to them about Jude? My dad went ballistic when he found out about my engagement. But it was understanding. He asked me to bring Jude home on Friday afternoon. I just hope they'll look beyond the fact that his family doesn't practice the same religion as you. If I tell you that I'm not bothered, then I'm lying. Girl, you don't want to know how I'm feeling, but nevertheless, I will still marry the man I love. I really wish you well, trust me. I know how Jude makes you happy. Don't worry about me. For sure, I know God's plan for my life. You just have to settle down. Your parents have to allow you to make life decisions. Not when your parents are strict believers and pastors to a church. Well, I've seen pastors' children make decisions. You're not them. They've chosen to serve God, but you can choose not to. I can't stay without God in my life. But you know Jude isn't strong in faith like my parents want him to be. I'm still teaching him the way of light. I understand you totally, my friend. And I know you'll be able to convince your parents. I hope so too, my dear. I've tried to call you numerous times, but it's not even ringing. My phone has been on silent since yesterday. I didn't even notice. That's not the point. It wasn't even ringing at all. Then yeah, maybe it could be network, don't you think? Okay. I thought you'd be at work. I work from home today. How are you doing? I'm okay. I just came to talk to you about something. What could that be? You don't look cheerful as usual. It's because I'm not in the best of moods. My parents want to meet you this Friday and I can't help but be scared. I've told you not to be scared. I'll meet with them of course. That's not even my concern. What will I tell them when they ask me who your father is? I'll just tell them the truth. I'm not like my father. He chooses his part and I choose mine. Come on. I really don't want anything to come between us. Trust me. And nothing will come between us. Trust me. Your parents will like me. I'll make sure of that. You are sure? You know me now. I have my charms. Oh, please. I'm going to visit my dad in few this time. I'm going to tell him about you. Oh, okay. That's not bad. I'll officially meet him soon. Yes, but it's only right that I meet your parents first before you meet mine. Yeah, I understand. Have you eaten something? Yes, I cooked. You know I'm a good cook. Indeed. I'll check the kitchen. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. How have you been? As you can see, my son, it's been a while I saw you. How are you? I'm fine, Papa. You know I've been busy with work. Work? Is that why you forgot your lonely father? I didn't forget you. I send you money as often as I can now. This young generation thinks everything is about money. Sometimes, old men like us need company. I understand you, Papa. I'll try to always come visiting from now on. Very good. I didn't know you were even coming today. I would have killed one of my goats or chicken. We are not doing any ceremony. Don't have to entertain me. But you are still my only son. If you don't eat all this, who will? Don't worry, Papa. I'm okay. I came for a reason. Hey, what could that be? I'm getting married, Papa. I found a woman I want to make my wife. Oh, may the gods be praised. Who is she? Is she from this community? She's from this community, Papa. That's very good. Who's her father? Pastor Samuel's daughter. I'm sure you know her or must have heard of her father. I don't think I know that name, but did I just hear you say pastor? Yes, Papa. Her father is a pastor. <laughs> a pastor? Why a pastor's daughter of all women in this community? She's a really nice woman, Papa. You like her? 
bring her home so I can see for myself. But get it in mind that I'm not fully in support of this yet until I meet her. I know you like her, Papa. I'll bring her home soon. Good. Jude, how far? Uh uh, don't you knock? Do you think here's your house? I beg, reduce your voice. What's that? This house, that's not even fine. See someone that's still living in a rented apartment. I don't blame you. Is this by building a house? Let me leave you until you build yours. Then we'll see if you still have mouth to talk after all the expenses. Whatever, guy, how far now? I'm fine. I just got back from my dad's place. How did it go? Did you tell him your fiancé? Guy, I did. He didn't even react much to it. So he wasn't against it whatsoever? I told him that her father is a pastor and he was like, why a pastor's daughter of all women? Then he went ahead to say I should bring her home so he sees her for himself. So he doesn't know Pastor Samuel? I was surprised but I know he's old. Maybe he just doesn't know his name. Well, let's not think much of it. I am sure he will like Mercy. Yes, who wants like a well-raised woman? And my father doesn't have a problem with who I choose. Yeah, we should be more bothered about Mercy's parents. Everyone knows that they are street and very spiritual. I know, but I will do all I can to win them over. I'm ready to be a full born again. <laughs> pastor in the making. I'm not talking about being a pastor. I'm talking about serving God totally. Uh, all of them are the same. Love shall they make people change. I just the pity you. How was your visit to your dad? It's fine. I honestly didn't stay long. Why? Hope nothing happened. Not at all. I just had few things to do. That's why I didn't stay long. Oh, okay. You had the chance to talk to him about me. Um, yes I did. But he didn't say much about it. He just wanted to meet you. Just like that? He did object to the fact that you're marrying a pastor's daughter. Be relax. My father isn't like that. He likes my happiness so much that he won't be able to object. We should just focus on your family first. Mine won't be that difficult. If you say so. Don't forget you're meeting my parents tomorrow afternoon. Please dress well and be very presentable. Are you indirectly telling me I don't dress well on a normal day? That's not it. This isn't a normal day and I know my parents are very picky. Well, I've had you and of course, I will look really good. I can't lose my chance of impressing them. I trust you. Don't be late tomorrow. I won't be. I'll be there as instructed. Okay. Have you eaten? Yes, I had dinner. How about you? Did it eat dinner? I don't do late night food. And what happened to eating earlier on? I ate lunch. I wasn't hungry so I skipped dinner. Don't worry about me. Just go to sleep, okay? Sure. Good night. Good night. Someone is knocking. I think my fiance is here. Open the door and let him in. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Mercy, go get him something to drink. Yes, dad. You're welcome once more. Thank you, sir. And it's a pleasure to finally meet you. I'm glad. What's your name? I'm Jude, sir. Oh, wonderful name. What do you do? And what plans do you have for my daughter? I'm a construction engineer, sir. I really do like your daughter. And I have genuine intentions for her. I want to marry her. How long have you known her? We've been dating for up to two years, sir. Before I asked her to marry me. And you didn't even ask about her family? You have dated her for two years without knowing or meeting her parents? I'm sorry, sir. But she wanted to be sure of the whole relationship thing before we can bring in our family. Good afternoon, honey. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, my dear. You must be Jude. Yes, ma. It's nice to meet you. Likewise, ma. So, young man, you were saying Mercy said she wanted to be sure of you before taking you to her family. Yes, sir. And I had to respect her every decision. You are from this town? Yes, sir. I am. What's your religion? And since you are from this town, I must definitely know your parents. Who are they? I'm a Christian, sir. And I only have a father. My mother passed away 10 years back. My father is Azuka. Azuka. That name rings a bell. You mean Azuka, the popular traditionalist? Wait, Azuka's son? What? Yes, sir, I'm his son. But that doesn't mean I practice what he practices. I'm sorry, young man, but my daughter won't be married into a family like that. I brought the juice. Why didn't you tell me that he's the son of the most popular native doctor in this town? But, Dad! We are not equally yoked with unbelievers, so he has to leave this minute. Young man, I'm sorry, but I can't welcome you into my family. Sir, I promise you I'm a good man. I'm not my father. Neither are we saying that you are, but you have to understand that we can't allow this union. We are sorry. Thank you for coming, but you have to go now. Jude! Jude, please wait! Will you shut up and sit down there? You better throw away that ring you are putting on your finger. This is not fair. I love this man. Mercy. Mercy. Azuka's son.
What did you say happened? You've been crying since you got here. I am tired, Rejoice. Why are my parents like this? What happened? How am I supposed to know when you can't even tell me? It's my parents. They sent Jude out of the house and asked me to end things with him. What? But why? Just because they found out who his father was. I mean, it's him, not his father I'm getting married to. I love this guy. Calm down, my dear. You have to sit your parents down and talk to them. Babe, they're not going to understand. But wait, don't they want you to get married at all? They want you to marry a pastor or what? Same thing I keep asking myself. I don't know what I did to them. I wish I could help you, but this is becoming too much. You've literally lived as the ones all your life. It's Jude or no one. I won't let them do this to me the second time. You don't have to go against your parents, Mercy. Just sit them down and talk to them. You don't know these people. Just try. Maybe they'll realize how much you love this guy. I just hope so, honestly. You've been sobbing since. Let me get you water to drink. Thank you. Just calm down. Jude, you called me. What's going on? Guy, have you been drinking? I'm confused. I don't want to lose Mercy. And who says you are losing Mercy? Her parents don't want us to be together because of what my father does. Oh God, I knew this was going to happen. How does my father's religious beliefs affect me? I'm not him. I understand you. People shouldn't be judged by their parents' choice. But you can't totally blame them. They are looking out for their daughter. John, I'm not a traditionalist. I've changed for her. I now go to church and serve God. You have to make them understand. Don't give up just yet. I hate that this is happening to me. And Mercy, I don't know how she's feeling now. She will be totally fine. Both of you just have to be prayerful and know that you can overcome anything. I just hope so. To be honest. Relax your mind. It's okay if they reject you for the first time. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Do you want something to drink? No, I am okay and you are not drinking anymore. I'll see if you can stop me. Dad, can I talk to you? And I hope it's not about that man. But Dad, understand that I love him and he's a good man. What's going on? Mom, please talk to Dad. I really don't want to lose Jude. I love him. Mercy, do you know how hard it is for us? But that man isn't good for you. Who said so? He's not his father, Mom. Dad, I know him. He's a good man. I want to watch you marry into a family like that. I won't allow that. Mom, please talk to Dad. Do you want me to grow old in your house? Is that what's pressuring you to marry a man with unclean family? Mom, I'm not marrying his father. Look at me. I'm almost 30. And so? We are not sending you out of our house. God will give you a man in your own time. Dad, God has given me him. Please give us a chance. I won't be here while you talk about this rubbish. You won't marry that man. Never. Mom, please talk to Dad. I love Jude. Please, if you care about me, Mom. I'm sorry, but I support your father. Please, Mom. Mom! Good evening, Ma. Miss Grace, good evening. How are you? As you can see, I'm doing alright. We thank God Almighty. Glory be to God. I wasn't expecting you, but I'm glad you came. Um, I came to see Pastor, your husband. Ah, uh -uh. is there any problem? Hope all is well. All is well, my friend. I just want to discuss something with him. Too bad he's not around at the moment. But did you inform him beforehand that you'll be coming today? I didn't. I thought he would be home. Since today is Saturday. You don't know my husband. His schedules are packed full. I wonder if he doesn't break down sometimes. It's God's work he is doing. The reward is in heaven. Yes, so he hasn't even been himself since yesterday. Why? What happened? It's messy. You know the guy I told you that she's engaged to. Yes, the one she hasn't introduced to. Either you and her father. Exactly, that one. Guess whose son he is. That would be difficult to guess. He's Azuka's son. You know Azuka now. Azuka. Azuka. Jesus Christ. That's native doctor. Bam. Exactly. Of all men. Why him? I just don't know what is wrong with that guy. But my husband has insisted that they would never tie the knot. A guy from a family like that? I don't support her at all. My dear, this generation don't understand what we know. A guy who was raised in an ungodly home is not fit for her. She has to forget about him. The church won't like such news when they hear it. My family is supposed to lead by example. And I won't let my only daughter disgrace me like that. It's well, my dear. We have to keep praying for these children. It's only God that can help us. Abio. Jude, what's going on? Why have you been avoiding my calls and texts? Good afternoon, babe. I'm not here for pleasantries. What's going on? Are you here to fight? Of course not. Why would I fight you? I was really worried about you. I'm fine. I was just in my thoughts. In your thoughts? How do you expect me to feel when you don't even take my calls? You know I would eventually take your calls. Come on. I'm a man. I have feelings. 
And same here. I know you are not happy at the old stuff that is happening, but we shouldn't give up. I'm not giving up. I just feel so angry and sad. My family background is causing a lot of havoc in my relationship with you. Maybe it's my family who is the problem here. We have to pray to God to at least touch their hearts. I can't do without you. I don't even want to imagine me moving on. You are a nice woman and I want to be with you. I promise that I will keep talking to my parents. They should understand that you are a different person from your father. I'll have to meet your father again. I don't know how but it has to happen. And I have to at least meet yours. Let's see what he thinks too. Yeah, you're right. We should go there next week. That's perfect then. Have you had something to eat? Not at all. Have you? I'll just cook something quickly for us, then I'll head home. Okay, B. Thanks for coming. You lighten my mood. You're welcome. I'll be in the kitchen. Okay. What? You even talk to them heart to heart? I was almost crying while talking to them, but they refused to see reasons with me. This isn't going to be easy at all, but if you ask me, I will say you have a choice to decide who to marry and besides, Jude is a Christian. It's just the background he's from that's the problem. It's not as if I want to be staying with his father or something. Being a pastor's child is the most difficult thing ever. Who cares about stuff like that? Sometimes I want to just see reasons with them, but then I just feel like they are doing it too much. My dear, there's always a way out. Trust me. Do I even have a way out? I just have to talk to them honestly. But you've done that now. I have a solution for you. But that's if you're ready to do it. Are you serious? I'm ready, my dear. Why not? Please tell me. Get pregnant for Jude. What? Are you for real right now? Get pregnant? When we are not even married? I won't even sleep with you. Talk less of getting pregnant. Sometimes you have to sacrifice for the things you want. Getting pregnant isn't a sin. Provided you both get married at the end. My dear, I won't do that. I'll convince my parents until they agree. Premarital sex is a sin against God and our body. Well, I don't know how long you will talk to them for. Less than until we should be 30. Don't worry about age. I'll do what's right even if it takes time. But think about it. That's all I have to say. There is nothing to think about, my dear. Absolutely nothing. Honey, you're here. I thought you've left to the bedroom. I still have these programs to watch. I don't miss it. When will you ever rest, eh? You're either going to crusades, prayer meetings, pastor meetings, Bible studies, seminars, or watching programs. My dear, it's God's work and we have to do it diligently. I totally understand you, but you have to create time to rest. I've heard you. What have you been doing? I was in the kitchen tidying it up and also making sure I bring out the steel from the freezer so it defrosts before morning. Then what is Messi doing in this house? Honey, let her rest. You know she has been really sad since her fiancé came here. Did I hear you say fiancé? You better correct yourself. All the same, we have to give her a break. She's hurting. Hurting for an unclean man. She should better come back to her senses. She told me that he's a Christian. It's just his father who is the bad influence here. We have many people who cover us up with Christianity. Backbenchers. A snake cannot give birth to a goat. I'm very sure he's pretending now. Until he minds her, then you will know his true colors. You're already judging this young man too much. It's not nice. Woman, I'm a man of God and I have a reputation to guide. I practice what I preach. You can't give your daughter to a man from a father like that. Except his father is as well ready to give his life to Christ. I know that's not possible. Coming from a man who has lived all his life serving idols. It is well. I know Mercy will be fine. Let's just pray for her as our child. That's what I'm doing exactly. Anyways, I'll be in the bedroom. We have early morning prayers tomorrow. Okay, let's just go together then. I'm sleepy. Okay. I really enjoyed that food you made. You're such a good cook. I was wondering why the soup I cooked the other time finished so quickly. Oh, the soup? It's John o. You know how he always comes to take soup from my refrigerator? Very annoying guy. What are friends for? You should be happy he's eating your food. Why should I be? He's a very annoying friend. Well, I'm glad he eats from the food as well. He enjoys my cooking. Who won't? You're a good cook. Thank you. Jude, I have something to tell you. Okay, tell me. The other day, I and Rejoice were discussing about the whole situation with my parents and she suggested something. Something? What did she suggest exactly? She said getting pregnant for you will sort everything out and my parents will have a choice. What? Pregnancy isn't the best approach to this and I know you don't want premarital sex and I'm not going to try to do it. Exactly what I thought. My parents will be happy with me and even if they accept you because of the pregnancy, it will be from their hearts. Yeah, we should do things the right way and God will see us through. Amen. That's my belief. I know you're my wife. I know a time will come and your parents will finally accept me and know that I'm a genuine man. I know so too. We have to trust God. Yes, it's only God. So don't think too much about what she said. I wasn't. I just decided to share. 
you eh? why do you invite me to a bar isn't this our regular spot again i know you don't take too much alcohol i just wanted to hang out hang out hey if i come your house now you would think i came because of food what do you come for before you deceiving yourself ah i don't suffer i for invite you come restaurant so that after we chop finish you go pee mercy don't really change you you know siba as a sin if you can't adjust your lifestyle to someone you love then you don't love the person at all i beg carry your motivation come out here how is mercy our wife to be how many of now the wife if i deck you <laughs> How is she though? She's fine. She came to my place yesterday safe. Oh, that's nice. And she was telling me about what her friends suggested to her that would make her parents agree to her marriage. What is it? Is it a nice suggestion? A horrible one. How can she suggest that she gets pregnant? <laughs> But she isn't completely wrong. But that advice shouldn't be for someone like Messi because she would never do that. I won't even do it like that. Pregnancy has done. Mom, I'm really hungry. You don't know where to get food or you want to eat me. Mom, calm down. I was at the kitchen and I didn't even see any cooked food. You can't cook. I wonder how you want to get married when you can't cook for yourself. Mom, I just said I'm hungry. It will take time for me to finish cooking. And besides, it doesn't sound like you and dad wants me to leave this house or even get married. Why would you say a thing like that? Of course we want you to get married. We just want you to find a better man. I have found him. Truth is everything I want in a man. Mom, you trained me well and I won't choose the wrong man. I'm not saying he's a wrong man, but he's from a wrong background. I don't want my grandchildren entangled in such a family. Mom, I promise you, it's not like that, to be honest. He's not like what? I'm not contemplating the fact that he's a good man, but trust me, you will thank me later. Mom, I love this man. Please, he's ready to do anything to make me his wife. Please, Mom. I can't help you. Your dad doesn't like this young man. But don't my happiness matter anymore in this house? I'm so sad you both don't want my happiness. Mom, even you. You know I love him and he's a good man. Why are you both doing this? Mercy. Let's see. I'm really sorry, but I can't do anything. Welcome to my house. It's nice and cozy. Thank you. Your dad is at home. Dad. Papa. Papa. My son, you are here. Good afternoon, sir. It's nice to meet you. And who's this beautiful woman with you? Papa, meet my fiancée. Her name is Mercy. You are welcome, my dear. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you, sir. You are a beautiful woman. Where are you from again? I'm from this town. My father is Pastor Samuel, the man who organized yearly prayer nights. Jude, is what she's saying true? Her father is that powerful man of God. Yes, sir. She's the one. And you brought her into my house. Please take her away. I don't understand, Papa. What do you mean? I said take her out of these premises. Don't ever bring such people into my house. Papa, she's my wife to be. I forbid you from bringing her into my family. Abomination. Now, young lady, leave this minute before I get angry. Pastor, don't be like this. It's okay. I'll see her at home. Papa, please don't do this. You better not disobey me. Stay away from her or you get the bitter side of my anger. Papa, Papa, for goodness sake. Oh my goodness. What's all this? Mercy, babe. Madam, your hair. Isn't it today you are going to meet with Jude's father? At this point, it's finished. Rejoice, it's finished. What is it? What happened this time? Jude's father doesn't even want me in his house. He chased me out like a piece of rag. I'm so tired. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. What's even happening to me? Am I cursed? God forbid. You are no cursed. Don't ever say that. Then what's happening to me? Both our parents doesn't want us to be together. How are we going to get to make this work? There has to be a way out, but you have to calm down and figure something out. Don't even start without your pregnancy talk, I beg. No vex, but don't kill yourself because of this issue. You'll marry Jude, just watch. But how? No family member is even supporting us. At God's appointed time, you will see changes, don't lose hope. I just hope so, I'm losing the little hopes I once had. Babe, thank you so much for coming. You have been blowing my phone off. I would have come directly to your place if you weren't staying with your parents. Exactly my point. You can't even come to my house because my parents wouldn't even like it. But what would I do? I don't want to offend them. I'm so tired of this kind of relationship. Don't tell me you're giving up. No, I'm not. It's just that 
then what look babe i know our parents probably thinks we are the worst set for each other but please let's just have faith it's not like i don't have faith i'm just desperate i'll go talk to your dad one of these days alone while you're at work are you sure you can do a thing like that as long as you let me know when your dad will be at home i just don't want you to pass through any sort of embarrassment i'll be okay i'll do anything to be with you oh i'm so blessed to have you i'm even more blessed babe Mom, you are home already. Of course I'm home. Where did you go? You're not working today. It's a long story, Mom. I'm so stressed. Stressed? Did something happen? Today was like the worst day ever. I'm really devastated. Talk to me. I'm getting scared. I went to visit Jude's dad. I wanted to at least meet him and see what he thinks. But it was horrible. What? You went to that man's house? Mom, of course. Is his house now a graveyard or a forbidden place? He's my fiance's father. He's your what? Didn't your father warn you to stay away from that man? Mom, you and I know it works. You haven't done anything to me. I love him. I don't know why it's difficult for you to accept him. Did his father accept him? Mom, it's not like he rejected me. He just has the same attitude towards me and you, just like you and dad. This is enough sign that it won't work. You have to come back to your senses now. Mom, I know you can talk to dad. I'm happy with you and our family background doesn't limit us if we genuinely like each other. Mercy, let's end this discussion. You and Jude won't be getting married. Get that into your head and move on. Mom, do you even understand me at all? I can't live without him, please. Please, for what now? What can I do? You can talk to your father when he's back. I'll be inside. Guy, what did it happen? I have been knocking. Oh, I'm sorry. I honestly did not hear the door. But you are right here in the sitting room. What are you thinking about? My brother, you won't understand at all. Even if I tell you from now to tomorrow. Why won't I understand? Is this not about mercy? Guy, you won't believe that my father actually thinks the same way as her parents. What do you mean, think the same way? The moment my father found out that mercy was the pastor's daughter, he immediately sent her out of his house. It's a lie. I thought your father was going to understand. He always takes your side. Same reason. I am shocked. Never says no to me and he has always been supportive. But I don't get it anymore. No now. Now that your parents are against your marriage, do you think it's going to work? It has to. I can't imagine my life without her. She's everything I want and more. I must do something about this. What do you think you can do? Try to convince her parents or yours. There has to be a way out. I know she's my wife, so I must fight for this. I wish you guys luck. I am rooting for you too and I am here to support. Thank you so much. Who could that be? I'm sure I'm not expecting any visitors today. Come in. Good afternoon, sir. It's you, young man. So what do I owe this visit? Sir, I'm just here to talk to you, and I really hope you will listen to me and understand. Go on, I can hear you. I don't know what is going on. I know I am not the right man for your daughter when it comes to family background, but sir, I love your daughter, and I promise you I'm ready to change and do anything for her. I understand you, my son, but you cannot change your background. You cannot change your father. Who would later be my daughter's father-in-law? Listen, I know you love her, but this isn't about love. This is about compatibility. I know what you're scared about, sir, but I'm promising you that I would make sure to protect her. I'm ready to start your church. I'll be whatever you want, but please, don't take mercy away from me. This is not in my power. Your father is one of the most dreaded native doctors in this town. And it is bad for my reputation, for me, to give my daughter out to a family like that. Who is this marriage? It's not about my family. It's about Mercy and I. Young man, there is no space for you here. You have to understand that Mercy has no place in your life. Why don't you just give me a chance to prove to you that I love your daughter? What's your name again? Jude, sir. Mr. Jude, I don't want to see your face in my house again. Mercy is my daughter and I know what's right for her. You don't sir, you suddenly judge me by my background. Have you asked God if I'm the one for your daughter? Did you pray about it? Are you questioning me? Not at all sir, I'm just letting you know that. You can't know God's plan if you don't ask God. Leave this minute, I don't want to lose my temper. I'll leave sir, but God sees every man's heart. Hello? Hello Jude. Hey babe, how are you doing? I'm not just fine at all. I haven't had one minute of rest knowing fully well that you are in my house. I've told you that it's well. You don't have to overwork. Does this mean it went well? It's still the same old story. It doesn't see any future with us together. 
Oh God, this is becoming out of hand. What's even happening? Why are they restricting us? How would I know? Only God knows what they have in mind. Should I feel like my parents are just doing this to frustrate me? How? What are you talking about? My parents know what they are doing. They have always rejected suitors all in the name of religion. You can't blame them. They are looking out for you. I'm now an adult. I think it's time for us to fight. You want to fight your parents? Don't even think about it. That's not what I mean. I have to just at least take laws into my hands at this point. What are you planning? Don't worry. I won't do anything stupid. Trust me. You had better not. I won't take it lightly. I've had you. Just relax and go home. On my way home already. Okay, be good. Bye. Good evening, Dad. Mercy, come sit. Yes? Is there a problem? Are you still seeing that man? What man are you talking about? The man you came with the other day. Are you still seeing him? Yes, I'm still seeing him. I can see you have suddenly turned disobedient. Didn't I tell you to break every form of relationship you have with him? Dad, I didn't see a reason to break up with him. He didn't hurt me. What? What did you just say? Did you just mean all my instructions fell in a deaf ear? If it's the instruction where you want me to leave a man that makes me happy because of reasons I don't know, then yes, it fell on deaf ears. Are you talking to me like that? Eh, Messi? Dad, you know how much I respect you a lot, but I won't just watch you ruin my happiness. Not again, Dad. What exactly are you looking out for me for? Or you are trying to not ruin your reputation because people from the church want you to be perfect. I'm in love with this man who loves me and loves God. He's not his father. I've talked to God about him as well. I can see he has a bad influence on you. No, Dad. I'm just sad that you didn't even think about my happiness before trying to protect your reputation. I've obeyed you my whole life. It's time to be an adult, Dad. Please. If you rebel against me, it will be in my own house. Never. Since you have chosen the path of destruction. Dad, I'm not choosing the wrong path. Please pray about it. And yes, I won't be rebelling against you in your house because I'm leaving. What? Mercy. Wait though, why are you with your luggage? Well, I moved out. I was tired of them always constantly reminding me that they can decide for me. You did what? Why move out? Aren't you staying alone? For God's sake, I'm 30. But you know your parents, they are not like mine. That's why they are doing this to me. They feel like I'm a child who can make decisions. My parents got married in their early 20s. Now they won't let me marry who I love because of reputation this, reputation that. Reputation? Do you think my parents are scared to marry me off to Jude because of his family's background? No, they're just worried about what the church will say. What? That's nonsense. Deep down, I'm glad you have at least stood up for Jude. He's a nice man. And I hope he talks some sense into his father for real. I just want this whole drama to end. Did your father know that you left the house? I left right in his presence, but my mom wasn't around and I know she'll be aware of it soon. Don't give that woman heart attack or... She'll be fine. Not like she has even stood up for me. If she did, by now I should have been married with two or three children. <laughs> God help you. Amen. I'll be staying at your place for a while until everything is sorted. I'm glad to have you here. In fact, you can stay for as long as you can. Thank you. Honey, have you seen Mercy? Since I came, I haven't seen her. Don't you have her number? Why don't you call her? I haven't thought of that. And besides, she's not a kid. Is that what you think? She's an adult. That's why she moved out. She did what? Moved out? She came back home and I asked her a few questions about that man and if she has ended thing with him. She started her own ranting about how she can't leave the guy. Who's wrong with this girl? She has moved out and I hope she doesn't come back since she has decided to move in with a man. Her daughter would never move in with a man. Come on, you know her. I don't care. You need to hear how she was talking to me because of a man. Messi has never rebelled. I'm sure she likes this man a lot. What are you saying? You are siding with her? Raise her, honey. She's not like that. Can we just give that man a try? You better get that off your head. What are you even saying? Honey, understand our daughter. She moved out. I'm not too scared. Of what? Isn't she a woman? She's an adult too. I don't want to hear this issue anymore. Say she doesn't want to be here anymore. She can go anywhere she wants, but I won't let her tarnish my image in this town. Never. Honey, please. My dear. So Mercy left. Papa, I still don't understand why you have refused to see reasons with me. Jude, see what reasons with you that you want to marry a girl with the pastor as a father. And what's wrong with that? Do you know what you're saying? Do you know the implications of allowing this girl into my family? I'm the one marrying her, Papa, not you. Understand, Papa? 
<clears throat> never will that happen hi ijele one of this community accept my son marrying a christian woman what happens to chidera the daughter of my friend don't you see girls like that papa biko you've always supported me since mom died why now that i need you the most i would never support you when it comes to matters like this but why why don't you like her or how do you want all my cabinet members to feel all my customers who come here to seek the help of our deity it's not our deity papa i'm a born again christian now please i believe in jesus christ Ah, I forbid you from ever calling that name in my house again. I won't watch that girl come and destroy all the teachings I taught you. Papa, I'm Mary Mercy. I love her and you have to support me. Over my dead body will you bring that girl into my family? She won't bear my family name. Then she will bear mine. I just want you to support me. Leave. Leave this minute before the anger of the deity that guides this house before you. Leave this minute. I must marry her, whether you agree or not. We shall see, since you've decided to disobey me. My dear, that's what happened though. A woman who can't talk to her own daughter. She smokes cigarettes. The mother has talk and complain. She had no choice than to send her out. I feel pity for her. I know how much that woman have invested in that girl. Main reason you have to train your female in the right way. You can never be too careful with these children. Can you believe Mercy packed out of the house? What? How do you mean? You left her move out? I went for a women's meeting and before I came back, she has left. And what was her reason? My husband was telling me that she was not pleased with the fact that he didn't let her marry her fiancé. She seems to be very happy with him. Oh dear, I understand how she feels. It's not easy at all, trust me. I know it's not, but does that give her the right to move out? Not at all. I don't support her at all on that area. But have you put her in your prayers and find that if that man isn't right for her? You know we can't just judge by what we see physically. I've always prayed for my daughter. Just that I didn't bother about this prayer for this topic because I felt that man wasn't good for her. That's you, judging already without knowing God's plan for them. I've realized that and I'll do the needful. I know Mercy so well. If she's fighting this much, then she has a good reason. Yes, you're totally right when it comes to that. Put on your prayers, my dear. You need God's intervention in this case. I will, my dear. Good morning, my dear. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Of course I did, thanks. Um, my dear, have you heard from Mercy of recent? Yes, she called me yesterday morning. Is there any problem? Not at all. Help me call her and tell her I want to meet with her and her fiancé today. I don't understand. Her and her fiancé? I thought you didn't want to see that young man here. And Mercy has already told me she won't come home until you reconsider. Yes, I know. And yes, I've reconsidered. Did I just hear you right? Oh, goodness. Yes, you heard me right. I had a dream last night and I saw that they both were happy in their marriage. I'm other words, God was trying to tell me that the young man is the right one for our daughter. Praise the Lord Almighty. Mercy was in this right. Please call her. I'll call her right away. What time should they come? I'll quickly go to see my friend, Pastor Bayo. I'll be back in four hours. Okay then, I'll tell her to come in the evening. Perfect then. Let me hurry and go so I can get back on time. Okay honey. I'm fine dad, thank you. I'm sorry I had to call you guys here all of a sudden. It's okay sir. I'm glad that you even called us to meet with you. Thank you. I shouldn't beat around the bush because I have somewhere to go very soon. Okay, Dad. Why did you send for us? First, I want to apologize for not seeing reasons with you. When you told me about this young man, I was only judging based on what people would think. And I'm really sorry for that. Me too. I mean, we should have asked God first before jumping into the conclusion that he wasn't a good man. It's okay, Mom and Dad. I know you both were just looking out for me. I totally understand, sir. I'll do the same for my daughter. Well, I've put your relationship into prayer and God has given me a go ahead to accept this young man into my family and allow him marry you, Mercy. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Dad. I promise you, sir. I won't make you regret this decision. It's all God's will. You have to thank him, not me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Dad. Mom, thank you. It's okay, my baby. You deserve to be happy. All you have to do now is start planning your wedding. We are not wasting any time, right, Jude? You are correct. I'm so happy for both of you. Please treat her nice. She's my princess. I promise you that, ma.
I had to rush back for my friends, please. When you called, are you here? I'm sorry. I should have called you before coming. It's okay. I'm here now. Hope you brought good news. Papa, I just came to appeal to you about my marriage missing. Pa, I understand how you feel about her. Which is a very good and kind woman. Please, just give her at least time. I can see that you've decided not to yield to my instructions. But Papa, I'm old enough to make life decisions like who to marry. You support me this last time. I would rather die than support your marriage with her. You want to play with fire? Break up with her and find someone from a family who practice same things as yours. I have changed. I don't serve these irons that you call your gods anymore. Are you indirectly insulting me and the god I serve? Not at all. I just want you to at least be on my side. Mercy's parents have approved of my request to marry their daughter even when they know who and what you do. Abomination. Abomination. I forbid you from taking this step. This is my decision to make, Papa. Why can't you stand by me? Hmm, you've touched the tail of the tiger and I want to let you know that that marriage won't hold. When you are not God Almighty, I can see that you have refused to support me. Then I'll just get married without you, Papa. Bye, Papa. This boy is playing with me. I hope you don't meet your doom. Who's knocking like that? I'm not expecting anybody. Oh my god. Surprised to see me. Can I come in? I'm sorry, but we weren't expecting you. Why won't you be expecting me? Call your husband. I need to speak with him. He's preparing to go out. Call him. I need to speak with him. What's going on here? It's just father. He's here. Good evening, Azoka. How can we help you? <laughs> help me? Do you think you can help me? I'm here to help you. But how? You're not seeking help. I've come to save you from the doom your household is about to enter. I heard you've accepted for my son and your daughter to get married. Yes, and how's that a problem? I want you to call him and tell him it's not possible. I don't want my son in this household. Call him and tell him. I'm sorry I can't do that for you. Your son and my daughter has been ordained to be husband and wife and I can't stop God's plan. <laughs> I'm commanding you to kindly save yourself from this mess you're about to create. I would never allow my son into your family to marry anyone from a family like yours over my dead body. Don't play with God. Don't say over your dead body. Then we shall see. I've warned you enough. Did he just come all the way here to threaten us? Let him go. Since he says over his dead body, then he will need to die for God's plan to come to pass. He's not serious at all. God have mercy on him. Hmm. The fly that refused to listen will follow the corpse to the grave. I've warned them and played my part. Now it's time for you, my great God, to erase every single one of that family. You know we can't let that girl into our family. She'll cause havoc and disrupt our plans. Since they've decided not to listen to me, kill them one after the other. Start with that girl who calls herself mercy. Show them who's the most powerful God. If they think they can do challenge you, show them your wrath. Make them wish they never challenged you. <laughs> that man has done too much calamity to your name. Now deal with him. I'll just come to meet you at rejoice, please. Why? What happened? I'm sorry I missed your calls. Where were you? Anyways, that's not important. I need to get across to your dad. What? Why? Did you have something to tell him? He's my father. He's in the hospital. Oh my god! What happened to him? You know how your dad told us that my dad was at your place, saying he would rather die than allow us marry. Oh yes, dad. But it's past now. He's actually dying. These some stores that were supposed to kill both you and your family, but it backfired. Jesus Christ! What did you just say? Why would you want to kill us? I don't know, but you have to please forgive him and call your father to pray for him. You have to go over to my parents' place if you want to talk to them. Okay, I'll come pick you up. Please be ready. Okay, be fast. Okay. He did what? Jesus Christ, what did we do to him? I'm so sorry, Ma. This is all my fault. You don't have to blame yourself, Jude. I saw it in my dream that he has rained curses on us to die. And when I woke up, I prayed against it. And you didn't thought it was right to damn me? Dad, please, what do we do? Jude, what did the doctor say that is happening to him? They keep saying nothing is wrong with him, but he's dying. And he keeps saying I should call you to come pray for him, else he will die. God is a merciful God. He has captured one soul. He will be well again. Amen, sir. Amen. I'll follow you to the hospital. I'm coming with you. Me too. We can all go to the hospital together. Then, let's all go. Yes, let's go. I pray for his recovery.
Thank you so much, sir, for coming. Thank you so much. It's nothing. How are you feeling? I'm dying, you know. I'm dying, please. Pray for me, please. Papa, please, calm down. I'm sorry for everything I said. I was stupid to have cast that spell on you. Now I'm restless. My body is funny. God wants to teach you a lesson that you can't do without him. He created us all and he'll give you a second chance. He's a good God. I promise, I'll serve this for God if I'm whole again. And I'll let my son marry your daughter. Just please help me. I don't want to die now. Just calm down, sir. Nothing will happen to you. Nothing will happen to you. We will pray with him and God will grant him a second chance. Amen. First, he has to accept our Lord Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Just pray for me. Say this after me, Lord Jesus. I am so happy for you, my dear friends. Same here. I'm happy for you. Finally, you both will be getting married in a month's time. I now feel like a fulfilled man. What about your father? Where is he now? He's been preaching and renouncing his deities. And he's joining my dad on missionary work this year. Wow, your dad is now a born again, serving God. It's all God's plan from the beginning. Maybe it was part of the reasons why God brought me and Messi together. Who God cannot do does not exist. Indeed. What dress have you decided to use, Messi? Your wedding dress, I mean. You know I can't use that one you showed me. It's too exposed. Oh, I forgot. You're the pastor's daughter. <laughs> You're not serious. Shouldn't you girls be discussing about wedding gowns in our presence? Anu says we shouldn't. Jude, why don't we go have a glass of wine? Of course. Remember, no alcohol, guys. Noted. My beautiful bride, you girls want anything so you can get it while we are coming back. I don't need anything, babe. We can just get a bottle of white wine so we can toast to a happy beginning. Sounds like a plan. I'm so happy for you too. Thank you, my dear friend. Don't forget, your wedding is a Saturday before mine. It's going to be fun and hectic, I know. But we have got each other's back.